So in Linux, there is a very common printing system known as Common Unix Printing System, or CUPS. The old printing system was using the line printer daemon, LPD, and using LPR, line printer, and LPD, line printer daemon, and LPC, line printer control, and LPRM, line printer remove, to add and remove print jobs. Now, that can be done all through a web-based interface. It's very nice. All you have to do is install the CUPS system at the time that you install Linux. Very easy to do. You can simply do a yum install CUPS to grab the latest version of CUPS and install it. You can point it to your repository, wherever that may be, that contains the RPMs to install CUPS. And then you can simply manage it using your Mozilla Firefox browser as an example, or a browser. Firefox is the one that I happen to use. Let me, t let me show you what I'm talking about. So here, I have got, uh, if I do RPM QA grep cups, I've got cups already installed, as you can see. And it does come installed with many of the Linux releases. And all Linux distribution will have cups available to you. All I have to do is I have to do service. I'm going to do service restart cups like that. Ah. Um, what happened here? Service cups restart. I don't know how to type, right? So service cups restart, and I restarted it. And if I want to take a look, I, I can go into EC, etc cups, and I can take a look at the cups dot Conf file, no. Cups D, cups D dot conf file that lists what's happening on the cup system. Now look right over here. It's listening to the local host port 631, which is the internet printing port, IPP. And I can choose to allow for look at like I can restrict access to files. Right. I can allow and deny privileges. So let me uh, show you here. I'm going to open up my browser right here, Firefox. And I'm going to go to localhost 631. And here's a cup system right away. Yes, this is completely available to you. Yes, a web way in Linux. <laughs> I'm going to add printers. I can add a printer. I can add a new printer. Supply it my user ID and password. And just looking for printers right now. All right. So I'm going to do, come on, come on. All right. So I'm going to use the internet printing protocol. I'm going to continue. And it says, all right, here's the examples of the internet printing protocol. IPP is my connection. I'm going to click continue. And I can specify, you know, where I want the printer to be pointing at. Now, I don't really have a printer installed on this machine. I'm going to let me go back a little bit here. Go back to the previous one. Come on. And I'm going to point at the line printer daemon. Connect. And I'm going to connect this. Now, if I had a printer connected, uh, right away, I'd be able to point to the line printer daemon. I can go to classes. Let me go over here to home. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, here it tells me if, you, if I want to use network printers, which I can do. Um, I can take a look at printing operation policies. Um, here's a reference for the printer configuration file. Here's a way for me to find printer drivers. Right. So if I do, I can add a printer class, and I can specify what type of printer I'm going to be dealing with if I really choose to do that. If I had a different kind of printer, I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to um, find new printers here. 
It's going to list me available printers if it has any. And it's all completely configurable in Linux. And then all I have to do once I connect to this is I can print to the printer as I have specified inside of my CUP system. Okay? Uh, it doesn't find any printers, obviously, which I know that already. And I have no printers connected. I'm going to add it. I'm going to add a local SCSI printer, provided to be continued. All right, and I specify my SCSI connection. If I, had a, if I have a SCSI connection to a printer, and I'm able to uh, finish uh, specifying the printer in this manner. All right, so this is all done using the CUP system. There's nothing really much really great to it. Now printing and printers only get complicated when you're dealing, when you're dealing with many printers and many uh, systems that are going to be printing. If you have different kinds of printers, you want to install different servers. There are also network-based printers, of course, as you're well aware of, but CUPS will let you do everything utilizing a browser-based system. I'm glad you're here.